before the break, we gave you a little tease of three likely lads. So let's meet the boys, shall we? Raise the row for them, please. Let's hear you. <laughs> David, welcome back. Thank you very much, because yes. Because you've been on the show before, I have, you? 14 years ago now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get to go on the date, so I hope to go one better this time. And you, surely you've met somebody in the 14 years. I have, I've had a relationship. Um, well, that's good. And I've got a son as a result of it, he's six years old. Um, yeah, and I spend every minute of the time that I can with him. I love him to bits. What are you going to do this time round to make sure that you get picked? What you I'm gonna... just going to be myself and hope for the best. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. yeah. Well done, coming back Thank a second time. Thank you. <laughs> So what do you create as an artist? Um, Are you a sculptor? Am, or? No, no, I'm no. an abstract artist, canvas. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you've got plenty of models behind there, believe well, you me. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what are you looking for in a man? I think predominantly somebody romantic. Um, I have a son, so he's obviously got to like children. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously love animals. Tall, I love tall guys. And <laughs> preferably... <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, my first question is, I believe I was a cat in my past life, and apparently I make cat-like noises when I'm sleeping too. But what animal noises do you make in the bedroom? <laughs> and that question goes to contestant number one. Well, I'd have to say, I'd have to be a horse. <laughs> I won't make too much noise to upset the neighbours. <laughs> There'd be no nagging. And I want a stable relationship. <laughs> OK, so the same question to number two, please. Uh, sometimes I have a dream that I'm a husky running through the snow. So I'd probably be kicking the mattress and ruffling up the blankets. Uh, but why don't you allow this strong, intelligent, blue-eyed beast to give you a reason to make a noise? <laughs> Let's see about that. <laughs> uh, OK, so same question to number three. What are you going to do? Well, in a former life, I was a koala bear. <laughs> so take me home tonight and let me be your care bear and I guarantee I'll have you purring away. <laughs> Have you made your mind up? I'm going to go for number two. Are you ready for this, then? Yeah. OK, then. Let's get ready to move that wall, because you chose David from Surrey. Come on in, David. <laughs> Look, Thank listen, you. stand here, David. This is David's second time on the show. No. Yeah, you're not, not yesterday, 14 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's keep oh, coming back. Happened. How do you yeah. feel about this lady? Yeah, happy, but yeah. have a great time. And how yeah. do you feel? Yes, good, yeah. good. Yeah. Can you sound yeah. a bit more enthusiastic? Yes, great. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're going to find out where you're going to on your big okay. days, OK? So I'm going to open a golden envelope and see where you're going. Oh, fabulous. We've decided to send you somewhere that's famous for its scholars and its artists, oh. and it's a city brimming with love and laughs, and apparently you're guaranteed to have some crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Irish term for fun, because you two are going off to Dublin! Yeah. 